One looked like the type of game you want to stock away and try to duplicate. What did you like about everybody's effort? Well, pretty much everything. Um, from the goaltender out, we played um, the right way. We did a lot of good things. Um, we got pucks out. We got pucks in. We didn't mess around. Not a lot of turnovers. Um, just a real, uh, almost a perfect game for coming off a break and simplify. We didn't. We didn't make anything complicated tonight, um, you know, so it was, uh, you know, not necessarily the game plan, but the execution was fantastic. Specifically, the way you guys were efficiently able to leave the zone as a group, what did you do to get the job done? Well, we just, we fought a lot of battles up high as opposed to, you know, allowing their defense, like every team in the National Hockey League, to uh, to pinch and, and fight those battles down low. We. We were fighting them high and we were winning the battles. And if you do that, you get pucks out in the neutral zone. We've got good speed, good opportunity, and good skill to uh, get up the ice and, and have opportunities to score. Sure looked like Jared Spurgeon had a game more than the goal. Some of the plays he made defensively, what kind of asset is this kind of nightly basis? He's just everything. I mean, you can't, how can you say anything uh, without being positive about Spurge? I mean, it's just like his play is one thing, but you, you guys don't see, and maybe you do, see uh, in between whistles and, and timeouts of him going up and down the bench. Coaches don't have to say a thing, and that's so exciting when, you're, when your leader um, you know, is, is not only saying the right things, but he's, he's doing the right things and um, you know, dictating to the group, this is how we play. Um, and he goes out and executes, and, and you can't do anything but follow. So, um, yeah, his game has been uh, all around great. Shorthanded, but uh, we talked on the broadcast, the luxury of having a guy like Alex Kalagoski, a cup winner, a veteran to step in and be able to play the way he plays. Yeah, Goose, uh, you know, playing with Spurs, they've had a good chemistry, and it's unfortunate we can't play seven every night because he should be in our lineup. We've talked about that before. We've talked to him about that. The last time that he sat out, we had no reason why he sat out. He was just the seventh guy that we had to make a decision uh, on. And it's it's awesome that he gets an opportunity. It's awesome that he stays ready. It's awesome he doesn't pout and whine and he just goes about his business. When he gets in there, he does his job um, and helps his team uh, have success. The Jets have had a, uh, quite a few injuries, particularly to their top six recently. How different did they look to you out there? I don't know. I, you know, we, we were concentrated more on our, our hockey game and, um, you know, I don't care who's, who's in a jersey in the National Hockey League. They're National Hockey League players. We had a couple guys come up and, and Beckman and Walker tonight played uh, extremely well for us, played great, great minutes. I think both played 12, 13 minutes. Um, everybody has depth in their, in their farm system, so that shouldn't hurt anybody. Can't imagine what it's like for a goalie to come off a four-day break, but to see Gus go out there and compete the way he did, probably not having his best stuff early, but obviously got better as it went on. Well, a couple of uh, couple of saves that he made there, um, uh, the one in particular where he came across, uh, and then the tip. Uh, you know, he just he's so he's so calm, he's so sound, um, he's so 